Hello and welcome back to Oh That's Interesting. Today I have the new 500 rupee note for you guys. I'm going to tell you about the general look and feel of the note, the things that I like about it and the things that I dislike about it. And we're going to perform some grueling tests on the note. So stay tuned to see the results of those tests. So let's talk about the general look and feel of the note. The note in general is slimmer than before. The paper quality is very nice. The print quality is also fantastic. I mean, you can see Gandhiji's amazing jawline here. One thing that I really appreciate about the attention to detail on this note is that the Indian flag on top of the red fort is printed in the tricolor scheme. And as all the notes printed in the recent past, this note also has the braille marks on each of the edges here so that visually impaired people can feel and say which note they're holding on to. So coming to the numbers, counting on both the sides of the note, there are nine places where the number 500 is printed. Seven of them are in English and two of them are in Hindi. The tenth one is a watermark and the eleventh one is a very interesting one at the bottom left of the note at the Gandhiji facing side. It uses cross printing of lines to hide the number 500. It will take a lot of stress on your eyes to actually see that but I particularly like this one a lot. There are the 12th, 13th, 14th and 2030 more 500s on the note. You will see that in the last test. So stay tuned for that. Also, now that we are talking about the printed 500s on the note, this particular one on the bottom right of the Gandhiji facing side catches my attention because it's very glittery. And the best part about it is in different angles of light, it has two different colors. It goes from blue to green to blue. Now coming to the dislikes. It's not something that I dislike, but it's something that I find very odd about the note. It's the four corners of the note. It reminds me of the webbing of Spider-Man, but still it has something interesting about it. When you fold the note in a particular fashion, they all join up to make an interesting formation. I don't know what that is for, but it's interesting. Now that we've spoken about the look and feel of the note, let's get on to the tests, shall we? All the folding of the note has left so many creases on it. So the only thing that comes to my mind is the iron test. Bhaiya, ye istri karke dena. Ye, ek minute. Ah, Dilijay sahab, ekdam kadak. Thank you, bhaiya. Come on guys, what did you expect? It's a piece of paper. It would get uncreased if you iron it. But the thing here is, after ironing, it goes back into your wallet or someone else's wallet. It's gonna get creased again. So why iron it? So unless really necessary, I say don't iron it. Not worth it. What if it gets too hot and it burns? You lose 500. Hmm. So we have some water here and the note. You guessed it right. Now is the water test. Let's dip this in water for a long time and see what happens. The note did not dissolve in water. As you can see, the note is still intact. The print is still fine. It's still 500 and not zero zero. Now I'm sure if I go to someone and ask whether they're willing to take this, they would take it. So basically it works. The water test passed. Now that the note has survived the water test, let's take it a few notches higher. I'm going to give this to Ramu Kaka for the washing test. Ramu Kaka? Aji. Ye pen na, please. Okay. <laughs> now that I got my pants back from Ramu Kaka, I'm not going to search for the note. Because if you think you can put a 500 note in the pant and give it to Ramu Kaka and get that note back. Now comes the most interesting test of them all, the nano GPS test. Everyone is talking about the new nano chip in the 2000 and the 500 rupee note. Let's start with pairing the note with the phone. Settings, Bluetooth, connect to 500. Excuse me. Yes, bro. Can I have some of that epic shit you're smoking there? Exactly, guys. Don't be stupid. None of these notes have a nano GPS. So don't believe in all those fake messages. Now we come to the last part. 
We're going to put this note under a microscope and show you all the other 500s that I was talking to you about in the start of the video. There are a few very interesting things when you see this note under the microscope. Let's have a look. So guys, you can see the 12th, 13th and the 14th 500 that I mentioned before. Let me zoom in. The bumps in the wavy lines are the reason why you can see these 500s. If you zoom out, it's easier to see. Now going to the other side above red fort. You can see that RBI, Bharat in Hindi and various other 500s are written across in circular pattern. Also if you notice India, Bharat, India on the walls and in the windows as well. And if you look on the left side it has the 500 India, 500 India written. Same thing on the right side in the window as well as on the wall on the right side you have the similar writings. When you go further ahead to the right side you can see more 500s and RBI written there. The difference in contrast is the reason you can see India on the left and right. So guys this is all I have about the new 500 rupee note. If you think you have something more interesting about it that I missed out you can always share that in the comments below. If you liked the video I would really appreciate that you like and shared it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. See you soon. It's a wrap up guys. Whom are you saying that to? You're the only one working here.